What's up, people? Welcome to today's session. What is happening in your lives? I hope all of you guys are doing good, taking care of yourselves, staying safe, and most importantly, taking care of your loved ones as well. A very, very warm welcome to today's session. This is going to be the prodigy session for ICAC Class 10th uh, for the chapter Machines, and this is going to be the second session of that where we are going to understand about single fixed pulley and single mobile pulley, and we'll also give you a slight peek at what is a compound pulley as well, right? So welcome once again, guys. My name is Anup. I am a master teacher of physics here at Vidantu and I've been teaching for the past five years now and in that five years I've had the pleasure to teach more than 10,000 plus students so that's a little bit about me uh, again uh, apart from that I would say that I am a very big football enthusiast uh, I like sports and mostly football that's pretty much it yeah that's uh, my life is a little short I mean uh, yeah <laughs> that's all that's there's nothing more interesting than that anyways so guys uh, let's get started with today's session before that a couple of updates for you guys for all those who are wondering about the pro exclusive micro courses right now it's going on for master electricity cons uh, concepts of electricity like never before so you can uh, you can be a part of it and study everything about electricity in those particular sessions if you want to be a part of it i'll tell you how to do that you have to be a subscriber to the pro subscription courses i will tell you how to get uh, the pro subscription course towards the end of today's session but if you guys are into it guys you can always join and study with me on the Vedanta platform as well and yes guys this is the new address for toppers as you guys might have heard about it already more than 100 plus students have been selected for NTSC stage 2 and that is a huge 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 number no institute has that kind of number and Vedanta has been producing results like this time and again and again so yes guys what are you waiting for be a part of it i'll tell you how to do that as well anyways so yes people this is what we had studied in the previous session we understood what is mechanical advantage what is velocity ratio and what is efficiency of a machine today we'll understand what is single fixed pulley what is single mobile pulley we'll also get what is the mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency of both of these kind of pulleys right so we'll Without wasting any time, let's get into it. What is a pulley? Okay. Now, guys, here's the thing. To define a pulley, you know, I don't think words are enough for it. So I'm going to show you a GIF to show that. This is what a pulley looks like. And I'm pretty sure in cartoons or in movies or in real life, you've probably seen one of these. Especially in a well where you want to pick up the water, you generally use a pulley. Now, you could bend down and take the water, but that's... It's risky, it's too risky, and there's a lot of effort needed there. And pulley makes our life a little easier. So pulley is a simple machine which has an axle around which, or to that axle, you have fixed a wheel. And through that wheel, or above that wheel, there's a rope that is going over it. Now... Here's what it is. This is what it looks like. In simple words, this is what it looks like. So you have the wheel and in between the wheels, you have basically an axle running through it. And then you have a belt or a rope, which is basically used to put in the effort. Now, the thing about pulley is that it is generally used because you want a convenient direction. Because here's the thing, guys. It's hard for you to pull up something, right? Because there's a lot of effort needed when you want to pull up something. A pulley basically reduces or basically makes it convenient for you to put in the effort. Because it's a lot easier when you're pulling down something because you're going with gravity. Here you're going against gravity. Here you're going with gravity. So pulley basically helps you to change the direction of effort so that your life gets or our life gets a little bit more easier that's the whole point of having a pulley now there are two types of pulleys all right oh basically guys this is what it looks like so you can see this is the rim generally made up of metal some sort of really strong metal could be iron uh, you also have steel you even have aluminium as well but it's not that strong but yes steel uh, iron is considered to be the gold standard of uh, rims that you have this is the arm so these things that you see these are the arms and this is the hole through which the axle gets through so the axle would be basically fixed and the wheel is free to rotate about that particular axis right so yes guys as i was saying there are two types of pulleys 
one is called as a single fixed pulley the other is called as a single movable pulley and as the name suggests it's actually quite simple the single fixed pulley is one where the axis of rotation is fixed you saw i talked about the axis right so that axis of rotation when it's fixed to a certain point like in this case like in this one it's fixed right this is what is called as a single fixed pulley something that we have been saying for the for the whole of the entirety of our life right so that is what as a single fixed pulley where the axis of rotation is fixed that is what is called as a single fixed pulley now to talk about the mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency of this machine it's actually quite simple if i have a load people let's say i have a load which is about let's say 5 kgs right let's say it is a it is a load which is a 5 kg now if the load is 5 kg then if the if the if the mass of the body is 5 kg then what is the weight of the object it will weight is what mass times acceleration due to gravity if i take the acceleration due to gravity as 10 so it's 5 into 10 that's me that's basically 15 newton so basically the effort the load that you have right now is 15 newton now the thing about single fixed pulley is that if you have a load of 15 newton you have to apply an effort also of 15 newton itself so same amount of effort is required so whatever is the load your effort will also be equal to that if you have a load of 115 newton then you have to put an effort of 115 newton so what is the advantage of this the only advantage of a single fixed pulley is that it helps you to change the direction it is something which is used for convenience of you know changing the direction like i told you it's easier for you to pull down something because you're going with gravity so for convenience we use a single fixed pulley it does not help us in reducing the effort in whatsoever uh, manner because uh, like i told you whatever is the load effort would also be exactly the same and we know that mechanical advantage is what load by effort so if your load is 15 newton and your effort is also 15 newton then what will be the mechanical advantage it will be equal to 1 again this is when i talk about a uh, ideal pulley where there's no friction nothing of that sort in that case guys your mechanical advantage will be equal to 1 what about the velocity ratio then think about velocity ratio is this guys if you have a load and you want to move it by a distance of let's say 5 cm you want to move it by a distance of just 5 cm then the effort the the distance moved by the effort that should also be 5 cm so your we know that velocity ratio is what it is the distance moved by effort divided by the distance moved by the load so if your distance moved by effort is 5 5 cm and your distance moved by the load is also 5 cm what is your mechanical advantage sorry your velocity ratio is equal to 1 that's all so again guys let me remind you this your single fixed pulley is something which is only used to change the direction of effort not to reduce the effort although we say that simple machine helps us to uh, reduce the effort and makes our life a lot more easier this does that by changing the direction all right so velocity ratio will be equal to 1 because whatever if you want to move the load by 10 cm then you have to either the effort arm should also move by a distance of 10 cm itself so velocity ratio is equal to 1 the efficiency guys is definitely definitely 100% because why mechanical advantage is also 1 velocity ratio is also 1 Mecha what is efficiency efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio so both are 1 so what are you going to get into 100 basically so what will you get let us 100% again guys this is a pulley with no friction whatsoever there's no friction between the rope and the axle there is no friction between the wheel and the axle when you ignore all those frictions we can say that the efficiency is 100% that's all so that brings to the end of the first part of the topic which is running with single fixed pulley now to talk about the second hero single movable pulley as the name suggests people the only difference is that if the axis of rotation is free to move if it's not fixed that type of pulley is what is called a single movable pulley now i know that you guys will be wondering sir where do we use this let me give you an example of that how many of you guys have seen a construction site before If you've ever been to a construction site or if you've seen one, you can see these massive cranes that are there, right? These massive cranes that are used to lift up really, really heavy load. Those kind of cranes, people. You see this one? This is actually a single movable pulley. 
it's not a fixed pulley but rather a single movable pulley and the biggest advantage of single mobile pulley so this is what it looks like if you want to represent it you can see that the axis of rotation is not fixed it's moving up and down it's moving up and down so that is what is called a single mobile pulley and the best part of a single mobile pulley guys is that it is a load multiplier it basically reduces your effort by at least half let me give you an example so this is what you are you know your single mo single mobile pulley looks like so this is the load which is acting downwards and because of this load there is a tension created on this cable it's basically one cable that is going around this entire uh, wheel and an axle right so yes guys so the load is basically acting upwards in both the uh, what to say both the parts of this rope so you have load one that is one part of the rope is fixed to this rigid support and the other is free to move so your effort that you apply will also be on the side where it is free to move all right because the other side is fixed to a rigid support so the other side is where you have to pull right so here's what happens guys the load gets divided into two so you have tension half let's say that the load is let's say 50 newton what's going to happen is that the tension on the cable or the load gets divided equally into two so the tension on this one would be 25 newton and the tension on this one would be 25 newton all right first thing you have to understand is that so the, whatever is the load it gets equally divided into those two ropes so it's basically one rope but the tension on these two cables would basically be half of it now guys if i talk about the load the load is equal to tension on this cable plus the tension in this cable right because like i just told you 25 plus 25 is equal to 50 happens now the effort that you put in is going to be half that of the load so whatever so whatever force that you apply over here whatever is the effort that you put in is only going to be half of it because you only have to apply 25 newton to move this load up right this load is 50 newton but you only have to apply 25 newton in order to move this load so here your effort is going to be half that of the load and because of this people again guys mechanical advantage what load by effort your load is l effort is l by 2 so 2 goes to the numerator ll gets cancelled so what are you left with so your mechanical advantage for a single mobile pulley is going to be two so basically guys it is a load multiplier it helps you to uh sorry not effort multiplier i'm really sorry but it's an effort multiplier which makes your life a lot more easier by reducing the effort that you have to put in all right next one guys is the velocity ratio now the thing about this one is that see you have to compromise on something right if you want do if you want to reduce the effort then you have to compromise on the distance that is moved by the load so in other words guys if i want to move this load by let's say 10 centimeter then my effort harm should move by a distance of 20 centimeter so basically guys your effort arm when you move it twice the distance of the load that is when it would move a certain distance so whatever is the distance of the load that will be half of the distance moved by the effort all right so if you take the distance moved by the effort as d then your distance moved by the load is going to be half of it so again guys if let's say let me give you another example for this if let's say that i take the you know the distance moved by the effort as let's say 10 centimeter then my load would have moved a distance of just five centimeter it'll be half of it all right guys so that is about the velocity ratio now to talk about the efficiency guys so again here what is it so velocity ratio is also is also equal to distance moved by the effort divided by distance moved by the load distance moved by the effort is d distance moved by the load is d by 2 2 goes to the numerator dd gets cancelled so what are you left with two again so efficiency guys is once again going to be 100 percent because why efficiency is mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio both are two so two divided by two is equal to one so it's going to be 100 percent that's it. as simple as that now guys this is where i give you a slight hint about something called as a compound pulley see guys sometimes no sometimes in life you want a convenient direction you also want to reduce your effort as well all right you want you don't want to put in so much effort you also want to have a convenient direction 
In those kind of places, people, we will be using a combination of both single fixed pulley as well as a mobile pulley. Now, the thing about mobile pulley is that it reduces your effort. It reduces your effort by half. And the thing about fixed pulley is that it helps you to change the direction. It helps you to put the effort in a convenient direction. So a compound pulley is basically a combination of these two types of pulleys, both single mobile as well as single fixed pulley, in order to reduce the effort as well as to give you a convenient direction. So here guys, the thing about, like I told you before, the thing about fixed pulley is that basically you have to apply the force in a downward direction, which is a lot easier. But the thing about mobile pulley is that you have to apply the effort in the upward direction. So you're basically working against gravity. So it makes it a lot more difficult for you to do so. So this combination of both these pulleys makes our lives a lot more easier and to sum it all up people for all those who are still confused about what is the difference between single fixed and single mobile pulley please take a screenshot of this one but let me just quickly take you through the points as well the first thing guys it has a single it has a fixed axis of rotation here you have a mobile axis of rotation it's not fixed at all the load is attached to the end of the rope in the case of single fixed pulley you can see this, this is the axis uh, this is the rigid structure so this is where the load is going to be and you put in the effort in the other uh, end of the rope and in the case of single mobile pulley it is attached to the pulley not to the rope uh, again if you guys remember that so you have the rigid structure this is my axe this is my wheel and axis uh, so axle sorry and this is where my load is going to be so the load is going to be attached to the pulley and not to the rope apart from that guys this is used to change the direction of effort this is a force multiply it basically reduces your effort by half all right and i'm sorry guys i told us row load multiplier before i'm really sorry about that it's a force multiplier or an effort multiplier it basically reduces your effort all right i'm so sorry for that happens anyways only one direction of force is changed not the magnitude in this case so like i told you if you have to move the load or if you have to move a load of 15 newton you have to apply a force of 15 newton itself so it only changes the direction and does not reduce the effort but in the case of single mobile pulley it basically reduces the magnitude of uh, force that you have to apply it right if you have to move a, a load of 50 uh, newton here you have to apply a force is just 25 newton apart from that guys the mechanical advantage is one and here the mechanical advantage is two that is why anything like i told you in the last session if the mechanical advantage is greater than one then it's going to be a force multiplier and that's what your single mobile pulley is right if you guys have enjoyed the session so far do not forget to like the video do not forget to share the sub share and subscribe we will be doing some questions but before that people i also have a very 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 interesting news for you guys i know that a lot of you guys are already a part of vedantu but for all those who are not guys this is your opportunity to gain 100 percent knowledge and to gain 100 percent marks as well a unique opportunity for you guys to study with the best of the best teachers on your online platform free in the sense not just the cost of the sessions but a lot 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 more are added to this let me tell you about this very quickly guys first of all guys vedantu offers you unlimited live sessions you can have how many ever live sessions you want and it's totally up to you guys you can choose if you want to attend five sessions a day or ten sessions a day it's up to you people you have ultimate number of quizzes which is definitely going to help you guys in your boards and your pre-boards and it's going to help you to uh, cement the topic that you've already studied and yes guys you're gonna have a lot of fun because guys come on what is learning without fun right and yes people you would have the complete complete syllabus coverage and these quizzes will also give you an opportunity to compete with your friends with your colleagues and to understand how good you are in that particular subject you will be getting all of the replays available i'll show you how everything works you can get all of the replays available you can check out all of that in the channel in the in the description i'll show you all of it don't worry about it you can download all the premium content every single thing every handwritten note all of it is downloadable and you can also get your doubts solved inside the session itself because every session guys will have the master teacher and the class teacher they will ensure they both together will ensure that all of your doubts are cleared within the class itself all right and if you have any doubts outside the class 
you also have Vedantu's app where you can take a you know download the app and get your doubts solved over there as well and you'll get amazing tests and assignments as well people which will ensure that your preparation for your boards is pakka all right and yes like i mentioned before people millions and millions of micro courses are there not millions but yeah hundreds and thousands of million uh hundreds and thousands of uh, micro courses are also present where you have courses on stress management to career counseling to everything that you require for a successful career everything is covered by vedantu to ensure that you don't put in the effort but we do all you need to do is follow the path and trust me guys you will reach the right destination and yes guys to make your lives a little bit more easier to give you the confidence vedantu is offering you the vip which not only ensures that you will have a certain improvement in your score a guaranteed improvement in your score but if you don't see an improvement in your score guys you can get your money back complete money back and that is the kind of confidence that is the kind of uh, you know belief that we have in our teaching and in our platform so yes guys be a part of it and enjoy the whole world of online learning so let me just show you quickly how you have to do it guys so this is one of the videos that came out very recently machines introduction so what you have to do is very simple guys click on the description go to this option called a show more go to the description click on register to vedantu pro subscription right now click on this link people this link is more than enough to enroll into any of the courses of Vidantu. So what you do is change, click on the grade and your syllabus. Right now I'm doing for ICC. So let's take a look at ICC right now. So click on it guys. You can check out that there are three different courses offered by Vidantu. Now these three courses are basically different in terms of features. But it's not different in terms of quality of education. It will be the exact same. It's just that the features are a little different. So we have Vidantu Light. Vedantu Classic and Vedantu Pro Plus. All these are different in a little manner, in a slight manner. So Vedantu Light guys have everything that you need. You have live interactive sessions, test series and ass uh, assign uh, assignments, analysis of those tests. You will have doubt solving inside the class, unlimited doubt solving inside the class. But there is no doubt solving outside the class. In the sense, you can't download the app and get your doubt solved. If you want that feature, then you'll have to enroll into Vedantu Classic, where you also have the doubt solving app as well. To make it one step further ahead, you can also go for Vedantu Pro Plus, where you will have a dedicated master, or you'll have a dedicated uh, mentor or a personal teacher who will ensure that you are in the right track, who will ensure that you are getting career counseling, who will ensure that you'll have one-to-one -one sessions for all the doubts that you have. So all of these features come in three different packages and three different prices as well. So if you go for Vedanta Light people, which I would suggest you to do, is about the, the one, if you, uh, you, you don't have to go for the year-long program. I would suggest you to go with the one-month program, check it out for yourself, and then decide if you want to go for the year-long program. So one-month program for this is 2,340 rupees. And that is after your coupon code. If you remove the coupon code, people, this is what the price actually is. It is 2,600 rupees. So you are getting a flat 300 rupees discount. And my coupon code is AME Pro. Once you apply the coupon code, people, you get a sorry you'll have a flat 300 almost 300 rupees discount and the price drops on a 2340 rupees now you must be thinking sir 2340 rupees is a lot of money but think about it guys for that 2000 let's say 400 rupees you're getting all six subjects physics chemistry bio english social science and math all six subjects that means that per subjects per subject that you'll be paying that's roughly about 300 to 400 rupees that's all you'll be paying per subject which is the same amount of money that you'll be paying outside also right guys and here though you can study in the comfort in the comfort of your home without any uh, you know scared of without any fear of uh, what is happening out there, right? So yeah, guys, the year-long program for this is 27,499 rupees. Again, if you think about the price per session, if you think about it in this a 400 rupees or let's say 2400 rupees you would have been at, you would have attended at least 250 sessions to 300 sessions that means that per session you will be paying roughly about 10 rupees that's all per session you'll be paying just about 10 rupees because you would have attended about 250 sessions so 10 rupees is what you're going to be paying per session which is 
less than a cup of tea these days right so yeah guys check out the link see for yourself how the world of vedanta can impact you people also and these are all the amazing teachers you're going to be teaching you're going to be dealing with you can check out all of the classes when it's going to happen you can check out all the testimonies the results that we have produced in the past every single detail okay guys so anyways with that said let's get back into the topic we'll solve some quiz questions right now and yes guys these are the dates that the batches are starting you have cbse batch starting on 2nd of august and 16th of august and then you have the foundation batch for both je as well as neat which is going to be starting on 2nd of august for both neat as well as je all right for 9th standard as well as 10th standard all right so yeah guys let's move ahead and solve some questions right now because i know you've been waiting for that so let's solve some questions i have about four questions and one homework question so make sure that you solve each and every one of these questions guys because it's going to help you guys for your preparations for boards all right here's the first one a pulley in a, is a wheel and an axle or shaft that supports movement or change in direction is this statement true or is it false let me repeat the statement a pulley is a wheel and axle axle or shaft that supports a movement or change in direction as the statement true or false the answer guys i'll give you 5 seconds but make sure you guys if you need more time pause the video and then answer for yourself i'll start the quiz in 5 4 3 2 1 it is true people it is true because yes a pulley has a wheel and an axle it's basically supports movement and or changes the direction right it can be either used as a effort multiplier or a force multiplier and it can also be used for convenience and direction next one a mobile pulley has more forces required than load has more force required than the load is a block and tackle system can move freely up and down or consist only of one rope what about this mobile pulley is true the fact is guys the force required let me answer this question but yes guys if you need more time pause the video and then answer it it does not require a lot of force right your effort is actually half the load in the case of a single mobile pulley so this state this is definitely wrong it is not a block and tackle system it does consist only of one rope yes it has only one rope one is fixed to um, you know a rigid structure the other is basically uh, is where you put in the effort but it can also move freely up and down so 3 and 4 are actually correct but here the option number 3 is correct so let's go with 3 right because yes it only consists one rope itself yes guys one side is fixed and then you have the row at the the pulley in the middle and then you have to uh, put in the effort in the uh, you know in the upward direction so both of these statements are true but here option number 3 is correct so chosen the correct answer both 3 and 4 are correct so if you have given the right answer as 3 or 4 you correct do worry next one a pulley system consists of rope cable chain or all of the above what do you think in 5 4 3 2 1 the answer guys it is actually all of the above you can either use a rope or you can use a cable or you can also use a chain as well like in the uh, you know i am pretty sure you must be wondering sir where do we use a chain chain is used especially in places like uh, Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those bore wells, the manual bore wells that you do. There is a chain there. In uh, you know, in if you go to a let's say if you go to a, a mechanic shop, like where they uh, repair the engines and all. Over there also they use pulleys, but those pulleys would have a chain over it. The chain basically looks like your uh, your cycle chain, right? It looks like that. So those kind of chains are used over there. So yes, that is also absolutely correct, right? Next question, guys. The last question, and then I have a homework question for you guys. Let me know what is the answer for the homework question in the comment. section but here is the question people a single fixed pulley is used because it has greater it has a mechanical advantage greater than one a single fixed pulley all right it has velocity ratio less than one it gives 100% efficiency or helps to apply the effort in a convenient direction why do we use a single fixed pulley because the mechanical advantage is greater than one velocity ratio is greater than one sorry less than one gives 100% efficiency helps to apply the effort in a convenient direction to answer this question once again people mechanical advantage of a single fixed pulley is equal to 1 velocity ratio of a single fixed pulley is also equal to 1 yes it gives 100% efficiency but why do we use it we use it for effort to be applied in a convenient direction not because it gives you 100% efficiency that even your single movable pulley also does why are we using that instead of this because of the fact that it helps you to put in the effort in a convenient direction 
so that is the answer guys and this is your homework question make sure you try out this question let me know what is the answer in the comment section the question is this what is the mechanical advantage of an ideal single movable pulley super easy question let me know that in the comment section guys thanks a lot for joining today's session that is all for today again guys the pro exclusive micro course if you want to be a part of my uh, you know, Vedantu platform sessions, you can enroll into the pro subscription courses, either of those, either pro Vedantu Pro Lite, Vedantu Pro Classic or Pro Plus. And once you enroll into the courses, you can also enroll into my pro exclusive micro courses as well. All right. So I'll catch you guys in the next session, people. Thank you for joining. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Have a great, great, great day ahead. All the very best. May God bless you all with good health and happiness. Catch you guys soon, people. Take care. Alvida. Bye bye. Adios. Take care. Oh, yes.